What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I had just woken up and I immediately saw all of the pictures from Ringside Fest that Ringside Collectibles posted on Instagram and I just had to get these images out to you guys and we are going to go through this video and talk about all of the new figures that they showed at Ringside Fest. I believe there are more to come but I just had to get these up because there's so much we already have to talk about. So let's go ahead and stop all the jibber jabber and get straight into it. Up well, first we have Basic Series 78 and 79. We have already seen these basic sets from Ringside, but here they are out of the packaging if you wanted to see that. Um, Ringside has already posted these on their Instagram if you want to go see mock images of that. And here we have Elite 55 out of their packaging as well. If you guys would like to see these uh, more images of these, you can go to Ringside's Instagram again. They have mock images and loose figure images now, but now we can get into the new stuff. Alright guys, here we have our first look at the new Elite Series 56, and it looks like we are getting a brand new AJ Styles head scan. It looks like it has longer hair and more of a, uh, it looks like it has more likeness to AJ Styles on this new head scan, at least from from this uh, picture right here, and it is the TLC 2016 attire, which I do enjoy. We are finally getting a blue Elite AJ instead of black and we do have images here of the club, and they look incredible. We are getting a cloth t-shirt with Anderson, and then Gallows does come with his entrance vest jacket thing. And Samoa Joe is coming with that Grimace head scan and green shorts and another t-shirt. Uh, Jack Gallagher looks amazing. I think that they totally nailed that with the umbrella. The head scan looks great. The attire, as always, looks amazing. And then Roman Reigns. We're getting a fast lane 2017 Roman Reigns where he fought Braun Strowman. I think that looks incredible. Um, I think that if you... Uh, it, we're getting a bearded Roman Reigns head scan, which is very nice. But I think if you were to just paint a beard on the Elite 45 or Elite 51, it would look a lot better. I think that is another brand new Roman head scan. But I am very happy we're getting that attire. I do enjoy that attire a lot. Up next, we have our first look at Basic Series 81, and we are getting a new Roman Reigns in his promo attire here. I wish we were getting a Roman Reigns promo head scan, maybe with like, you know, the man bun or something like that. We are getting a Basic Rich Swan, which looks incredible. I wish they would have used that attire on the Elite, but you know, it is what it is. That Kofi Kingston attire looks amazing, and we are getting our very first Rhino Basic with more accurate shoulders and arms. Thank you, Mattel. And if you look closely in the back you will see a Seth Rollins and it looks like that is a new Seth Rollins head scan it looks sort of like the NXT uh, head scan but with the uh, fully black hair so I'm not sure how I feel about that but then you just have some uh, some more Brock Lesnar Chris Jericho Sasha Banks and Sami Zayn basic figures that I don't think anybody really cares about up next we do have some more new basics we have a Dean Ambrose shirtless basic and I cannot tell, but it kind of looks like we are getting a new Dean Ambrose head scan. We are getting a new Mojo Raleigh basic, which looks amazing in that Maryland attire. We have a WrestleMania 33 Seth Rollins basic, a AJ Styles WrestleMania 33 basic, and then a big show that I don't think anybody really cares about. And then, of course, you have your Battle Packs here on the right. That is Battle Packs 50, and we have already seen images of those, but... It looks like they are continuing that stupid trend with the arms, which is very unfortunate for the basics. It totally ruins them. Uh, you know, it prevents head, or not head swaps, but arm swaps, and it just makes things a lot harder. And I really don't know if I'll be picking up a lot of basics because of that reason. All right, guys, we have some brand new elites right here, and it looks like they are going to be Target exclusives. First up, we have this Eddie Guerrero from WCW, which looks incredible in the singlet. Um, I believe this is from the late 90s when he won the Cruiserweight Championship. Obviously, that is not the accurate Cruiserweight Championship, so they are giving us the WWE one. Um, behind that, you have WrestleMania 21 Batista, where he fought Triple H to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Um, the red looks a bit saturated, like it's pretty uh, bright, but um, not a big deal. That figure looks really good. I already have a custom of it, but I am excited to get a final product of that. Behind that, you have a brand new Rikishi Elite, which is pretty surprising. I did not expect us to get a Rikishi, but it will go nicely with that Scotty 2 hottie that we're supposed to get in the future. Um, and behind that, you have a late 90s Undertaker with the Tag Team Championship. I may be wrong, but I think that is... Uh, his run with Big Show when they were uh, tag team champions. I believe that's what that is. And then to the right right there, you will see a Bobby Heenan 
uh, new elite. And in front of that, you see the sneak peek sign. I don't really know what that means. Maybe future target exclusives or maybe Hall of Fame. I'm not sure. But Behind that, you have a Mark Henry sexual chocolate right there, which is incredible. Very happy to see that figure. And then finally behind that, we have a dude love figure of Mick Foley, which looks incredible. Um, this figure has been long awaited for a long, long time. And I'm so happy that we're finally getting a dude love. That head scan looks amazing from here. The colors look so bright. And I am just very happy that we're finally getting a dude love. All right, guys, we have some more new elites here. Starting out on the left, it says that they are going to be WWE Shop exclusives. And we have Fabulous Moolah right there up front, which I really don't care about. But I guess if you're a fan of her or you want to pick that figure up, if you're a diva collector or whatever, you want to grab that. Um, we are getting a new Sasha Banks, and it looks like that is the Eddie Guerrero attire, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, behind that, we have a brand new Elite Lita, which looks incredible. It is the Rated R Lita, which will look amazing with our Edge figures that we have gotten in the past. And behind that, it looks like we are getting some more Hardy figures. Those are not the epic moments. Those are brand new. And I guess, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be throwback or if that's current day, but those look amazing. I'm very happy that we're getting more uh, Hardy Elites. Um, any Hardy Elites, you know, we'll all take them. But to the right there, you have some Toys R Us Elite exclusives, and you have a John Tenta Elite, which is uh, based off of the WCW Shark uh, gimmick that he played off of, which I really do not care about that figure. However, I guess if you are a flashback collector or whatever, you want to go ahead and grab that. Behind that, you do have Maurice in her sailor hat. Um, which I'm not very happy with. Uh, I know that um, it was supposed to come with the Intercontinental Championship, but it looks like that was pulled or it's just not posed with it. And then, of course, you have your Virgil up front there that we have seen already. And then we have a DX Shawn Michaels there in the back with... It looks like... Uh, okay, so it's going to be the new ringside exclusive. It will be Shawn Michaels. I am digging that packaging a lot. It is off the late 90s DX Shawn Michaels, and I am appreciating that figure already even though we do not have clear pictures of it out of the box. And then right there you have this Stone Cold Amazon exclusive with the WWF title, which looks amazing. And that is coming with a cloth shirt, so I'm very happy to be getting that. But now we are moving on to more figures. Getting into some more new elites right here, we have some Walmart exclusives, and it looks like it is all flashbacks, and I believe this is a build, a, or not a build a figure, but a build a background set there. You see the cameras and lighting behind Warrior and X-Pac with that SummerSlam backdrop. I think that is part of the build a figure set. I could be wrong, but... Getting into the figures, we have a Yokozuna right here, which is basically a re-release of the Elite 20, I believe, in the red pants. Um, we are getting a Mean Gene Okerlund Elite, and I'm not sure, again, if that's a Build-A-Figure or if that is just a straight-up Elite. Um, I could be wrong, but um, I am happy that we are actually getting that figure. Uh, to the right there, you have Ultimate Warrior in his America attire, which looks very, very clean. And then we are getting a brand new X-Pac Elite. It looks like it is the same head scan, but with a red headband instead. Um, going over to the right, you have some Walmart basic exclusives as well. You have Cowboy Bob Orton, Ted DiBiase, Million Dollar Man in his green suit, a Sergeant Slaughter, a Rick Rude, and then I think that is a different... G mean Gene Okerlund. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, I apologize for that. But I'm not exactly sure how I feel about all these figures. They are all flashbacks, but you know they all look great for what they are. But I am not a huge flashback collector. It just depends. But um, we are moving on to more figures. Up next, we have some new battle packs here, 51 and 52, I believe. We have this Miz and Maurice acting as John Cena and Nikki Bella battle pack, which is very funny and very creative. I, I am loving the idea of that. I think that is amazing. Not sure how I feel about Miz's head scan, though. We get a brand new Revival battle pack, brand new New Day battle pack, a accurate John Cena and Nikki Bella battle pack, a Triple H and Sting battle pack from WrestleMania 31, and and then we have a WrestleMania 33 Roman Reigns and Undertaker battle pack. And I think that all of these do look great. You see where Sting's uh, head scan has like some faded paint. So it's like he's in mid-match, which I think is awesome. But I am excited to get these battle packs. I think that each one of them has very um, unique value to it. 
Getting into some more new elites, guys, we have the NXT Series 3, I believe it is, and we have a Bobby Roode Elite, and it looks like that is a new torso design right there, which looks incredible. We are getting the brand new NXT Championship, which is also very exciting. To the right, we have an Ember Moon Elite, which looks incredible. Could be Female Figure of the Year in 2018, early candidate. We have two flashback NXT Elites. We have Roman Reigns, which looks great with a claw. NXT t-shirt a Rusev from NXT which looks very good as well and then behind that you see Roderick Strong which I guess will be part of the basic series NXT target line and then to the right of him you will see Billy Kay in that same basic line which is incredible I feel that we will probably get a few more basics from that line from NXT no telling who we will be getting but I am very excited for all of these I think that that Roman head scan and attire is great I think that Bobby Roode looks amazing and Ember Moon as well. Up next, we have some new WrestleMania elites. Up first, we have in the front is Brutus Beefcake that Ringside has already uh, posted on their Instagram a little while ago. To the right of that, we have a brand new Randy Orton elite, and it looks like it is not going to be WrestleMania 33, I don't think. It looks like it is just going to be an updated Randy Orton with his... Uh, accurate hoodie which is already outdated and then um it actually has accurate knee pads this time first randy orton elite with open knee pads i am very excited to pick that randy orton up to go in the massive collection that i already have and behind that you have a beautiful wrestlemania 23 john cena where he fought Shawn michaels in his camo attire with the army hat and being that I already have this, it is still amazing to see that we will be getting a longer green shorts elite Cena. I'm very excited so I can make other uh, you know, flashback Cenas to go in my massive collection there. But I am so excited to actually see that released to the public. To the right of that, we have a WrestleMania 33 Kevin Owens where he fought Chris Jericho. Um, I think that that figure from here looks like every other KO. You know, just a good standard Kevin Owens elite. I wish we were getting Face of America, but I will take any Kevin Owens elite. Up next, we have two beautiful gems here, and this is going to be part of the Entrance Greats line, and we have first up in the front, we have this Kurt Angle, and I can guarantee you guys, this is not the freaking head scan that we saw in that package post that I posted on my Instagram where I was, you know, ripping into the head scan. This looks like they combined the original one from San Diego Comic-Con that I liked, and they combined it with the one that I disliked, and they made one that looks pretty damn good in my opinion. I think Think it looks very nice the only pet peeve i have is that they painted the torso instead of molding it the right color so now we have a mismatched torso to arms paint job but you know i maybe I'm, I'm sure i could fix that up no biggie but i'm so excited that we're finally getting a kurt angle elite and then behind that we have what is looked to like it's going to be a re-released elite one jeff hardy but with better paint apps like that figure from here looks amazing that head scan um the paint job on that looks a hundred times better than that prototype or that elite one final product whatever it was um that we saw way long ago that got you know canceled but just so excited to have a jeff hardy elite like, it is amazing to think that we are going to be getting Kurt Angle and Jeff Hardy in this entrance greats line. Like, I cannot not even explain it. It looks like they will come with their stands as well that plays their music, I believe. And I think it would be cool if they throw in a towel for Jeff Hardy um, like they did with the Elite One. And last but not least, we have probably the two most sought-after figures of 2018, and that is this Epic Moments line WrestleMania Return Hardy Boys 2-pack, and I am not sure if it will come with four ladders. I think the rumor is that it will come with four ladders. Um, and the Raw Tag Team Championships as well. So if that is true, this is definitely going to be figure of the year in 2018 or figures of the year. Like, these look amazing. Jeff looks out of this world, and Matt Hardy as well. It looks like they went all in on these two figures, both attires, um, both head scans. Everything about it just looks incredible. And if they throw in the tag titles with these ladders, like, I mean, that is just, and for whatever the price is, I will definitely be paying that. That looked, they, they, I can't even get words out. These figures look incredible. So happy with the way they look right here. And that Matt Hardy head scan, again, so great. 
It's like he's doing the delightful uh, face there from his broken brilliance. And then if you look behind over his shoulder, you will see there that it looks like we are getting a throwback Matt Hardy, which is going with that Jeff that we saw earlier in the video. And it looks like he is getting camo pants and a ponytail. So I'm guessing this is going to be like an 07 era Hardy Boys 2-pack or whatever they're going with there. But that is all the figures that I saw from Ringside Fest that they have posted so far, guys. If they upload more, I will be sure to post them here. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment on what your figures are from this video that you enjoy. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.